With autumn already in full swing, there's nothing quite like bundling up on the couch with a great video game. Today, we're diving into our 10 picks for games that perfectly capture the spirit of fall season. From stunning visuals filled with warm colors to narratives that encourage reflection. These titles will immerse you in their worlds while you sip on your apple cider wrapped up in a cozy blanket. Whether you're in the mood for mystery, adventure, or heartfelt stories, we got something for everyone. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more of our gaming content. We'd also love to hear from you. What games do you think are perfect for fall? Share your picks in the comments below. But for now, grab your favorite snack and let's jump right in. First up is Death's Door, an action-adventure game that beautifully blends charming visuals with a unique premise. You play as a small crow tasked with collecting soul in a vibrant yet melancholic world. The gameplay features engaging combat and exploration where you navigate beautifully designed environments filled with puzzles and intriguing enemies. As you dive into the story, you'll uncover the backstories of the souls you're collecting, revealing themes of life, death, and redemption. Each encounter offers emotional depth and clever humor, creating a narrative that's both poignant and engaging. The art style is striking with whimsical yet dark elements that evoke a sense of nostalgia and reflection, perfect for the fall season. This time of year often inspires contemplation about life's transitions, making death's door an ideal choice for cozy evenings spent in its enchanting world. Get old school. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Let's talk about the next game, Life is Strange. This game is a powerful narrative experience where you step into the shoes of Maxine Caulfield, a high school student who discovers she can rewind time. What I really enjoy about this game is how the gameplay revolves around exploration and decision making, letting you interact with your environment and characters in meaningful ways. Each choice you make impacts the storyline and relationships, leading to multiple possible outcomes. The story follows Max as she reunites with her childhood friend Chloe and uncovers a dark mystery in their town, Arcadia Bay. I always found it fascinating how it tackles themes like friendship, mental health, and the consequences of your actions while navigating the ups and downs of teenage life. The visuals are absolutely stunning, with vibrant art and an awesome indie soundtrack that really enhances the emotional depth. It's a journey that makes you reflect on your choices and their impact, inviting you to feel every moment deeply. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Next is Dredge a fishing adventure that combines relaxing mechanics with an underlying sense of mystery and dread. You take on the role of a fisherman exploring a haunting archipelago, gathering fish and uncovering dark secrets that lurk beneath the surface. 
The gameplay skillfully mixes fishing mechanics with resource management and quests, allowing you to interact with the quirky characters and upgrade your boat. As you venture through the eerie yet beautiful islands, the visuals perfectly capture that chill in the air that autumn brings. The game masterfully balances moments of serene fishing during the day with a suspenseful exploration at night, creating a blend of comfort and thrill. This duality makes it a captivating choice for fall. As you immerse yourself in its world while the days grow shorter and the atmosphere deepens. I wonder, could this be one of them there booby traps? Hmm, could be. Next up is Oxenfree, a supernatural adventure that grabs your attention right from the start. You play as Alex, a teenager who takes her friends to an abandoned island for a weekend getaway. What I enjoy about this game is its unique dialogue system, which lets you choose how to respond in conversations, shaping your relationships and the story as it unfolds real time. As you explore the island, you'll run into strange occurrences that lead to deeper mysteries about the island's history and your friends' pasts. The character interactions are rich, and there's a great blend of humor and suspense. Each character feels relatable, and their dynamics add depth to the story. The art style is visually captivating, and the haunting soundtrack really enhances the atmosphere. Overall, it's an engaging experience that keeps you guessing while prompting you to think about friendship and the consequences of our actions. We ride around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... Now, let's chat about Coffee Talk, a visual novel that invites you into a cozy coffee shop set in alternate Seattle, where fantasy creatures and humans coexist. You play as a barista who listens to your customers' stories while crafting unique drinks, creating an intimate and warm atmosphere that draws you in. The gameplay focuses on conversation choices and drink customization, allowing you to shape the relationships between characters based on your interactions. The narratives touch on themes of love, friendship, and societal issues, leading to thought-provoking discussions that resonate deeply. The warm art styles and soothing soundtrack create a relaxing vibe, making this game especially comforting during the fall. As the weather cools, it's the perfect time for heartfelt conversations over a cup of coffee, and Coffee Talk captures that cozy essence beautifully. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. In 
Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Now let's dive into What Remains of Edith Finch, a game that invites you to explore the Finch family's unique history. You play as Edith, the last surviving member of the Finch family, returning to her ancestral home to uncover the stories of her relatives. My favorite part about this game though is that each family member has a distinct story told through innovative gameplay mechanics, making each experience feel fresh and immersive. The narratives delve into themes of life, death, and memory, exploring how each family member faced their own fates. The visuals are whimsical and emotionally resonant, paired with a haunting soundtrack that ties everything together. It's a touching journey that encourages you to reflect on legacy and the fragility of life, making it a truly memorable experience. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Get us ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. Next up is Little Miss Fortune, a whimsical yet dark adventure game that follows a young girl named Miss Fortune on her quest to find eternal happiness. The gameplay is a point and click style filled with quirky interaction and charming visuals that often mask deeper themes. As you guide Miss Fortune through her journey, you'll encounter a mix of humor and unsettling moments, exploring themes of innocence, choice, and consequence. The storytelling is captivating, often breaking the fourth wall and inviting you into misfortune's thoughts. The unique art style is colorful and engaging, providing a contrast to the darker moments that emerge throughout the narrative. This balance makes a thought-provoking game for fall, a season that encourages reflection on growth and change. Little Misfortune is a memorable journey that blends whimsy and poignancy, perfect for those introspective autumn nights. a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm a little lady, you know. Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Next is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, a game that combines mystery and exploration in a beautifully atmospheric world. You play as Paul Prospero, a paranormal investigator searching for a missing boy named Ethan in the stunning landscapes of Red Creek Valley. What I enjoy most about this game is how the gameplay focuses on exploration and puzzle solving, letting you piece together clues that lead to a deeper understanding of Ethan's story. As you uncover the mysteries of the valley, you'll encounter various environmental storytelling elements that reveal Ethan's background and the dark events surrounding his disappearance. The themes of loss and tragedy are present throughout, making each discovery impactful. 
The visuals are breathtaking, creating a rich, immersive world that draws you in. The haunting soundtrack complements the eerie atmosphere, enhancing the emotional weight of the experience. It's a captivating journey that encourages you to reflect on the consequences of choices and the nature of reality. Where's my mother? Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I didn't want her to get hurt. Oh, so sick. You know, since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan, goddammit? Let's talk about A Short Hike, a delightful exploration game that invites you to take a relaxing hike up a beautiful mountain. You play as Claire, a bird who is trying to reach the summit while interacting with fellow hikers and discovering hidden treasures along the way. The gameplay emphasizes exploration at your own pace, allowing you to glide, climb, and meet various characters who share their stories and quests. The charming art style is filled with vibrant colors and soothing animation, creating a sense of tranquility that perfectly matches the crisp fall air. Matter of fact, you can change the visuals from crunchy pixels to smooth graphics, whatever suits your fancy. The themes of exploration, connection, and self-discovery resonate deeply, making this a heartwarming experience, especially in autumn, when it's nice to slow down, appreciate nature, and embrace the journey. A short hike is a lovely reminder to take a break and enjoy the beauty around you, making it an ideal choice for cozy gaming sessions this season. And finally, let's talk about Firewatch, a first-person adventure game set in the beautiful Wyoming wilderness. You play as Henry, a fire lookout trying to escape his troubled past. What I enjoy about this game is that the gameplay centers on exploration and communication. You hike through the stunning forest and interact with your supervisor, Delilah, via radio. As the story unfolds, you'll uncover various mysteries that create a sense of tension and urgency. The dialogue is incredibly well written, allowing you to shape your relationship with Delilah based on your choices. The themes of isolation and connection are central to the narrative,
prompting deep reflection on personal struggles and human relationships. The visuals are striking with a vibrant art style that captures the beauty of nature. The atmospheric soundtrack adds an emotional layer to the experience, making it a compelling journey about self-discovery and the complexities of life. Oh god, it's a nightmare out there. Hello? Delilah! Uh. Damn it. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey through 10 of our personal picks to dive into this fall. We hope you've discovered some potential new favorites that you can't wait to explore. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe for more of our future gaming content. As the leaves change and the days grow shorter, we hope you find joy and adventure in every gaming session. Until next time, happy gaming and embrace the beauty of this season.